A seven-year-old boy from Callaway remains in critical but stable condition after being mauled by a bulldog yesterday afternoon. And while family members continue to pray for his recovery, the bulldog's owner faces additional charges. The Bay County Sheriff's Office announced that they're charging 21-year-old Edward Daniels with tampering with evidence. Detectives with the Criminal Investigation Division believe that Daniels washed blood off the face and paws of his dog when he realized the dog was involved in an attack. This afternoon, Daniels appeared in court for drug charges that arose from the investigation of the attack. News 13's Andrew Ruiz starts off our team coverage tonight. He spoke to the little boy's uncles. Andrew, all this must be tough on the family. It is, Jerry, and all of them can't help but think, was this incident preventable? In my interview, I asked them about that and how Tyler Jett is doing tonight. It's a picture in my mind that will never go away. April 2nd will go down as one of the most traumatizing days for Scott Beal and Chris Sheets. They are the uncles of a seven-year-old boy who was mauled by two bulldogs and later confiscated by animal control. As I'm stepping over him, chasing after that dog, I look down and see his eyes roll up at me like Uncle Scott, I'm here, and all I see is a head and face just full of blood. That's all I, that's burnt in my mind. Beal says the neighborhood is on edge, fearful of another attack. I, I don't understand. You know, the kids can't even play in the front yard now. We got people walking on walks with guns and sticks. If you're going to have a dog or any animal, confine it. Keep it under control. If you think it's going to be violent or vicious, then get rid of it. We don't need them around here. And neighbors feel the same way. There was prior incidents to this. Today should have never happened. And while authorities are continuing their investigation, Beal and Sheets remain optimistic about their nephew's recovery. He's like a son to me. I mean, I'm always here with him and everything, play games, watch wrestling with him. He's, he's close to me. We, we call him Catfish. So, I mean, good kid. Good kid. I love him to death. I believe full heartedly he'll pull through. He's a fighter. The family has set up a benefit account in Tyler's name to help pay for the medical expenses. Now, in order to do so, visit any of Hancock Banks' seven Bay County locations. The account number can be seen on your screen. It is 0463-3262-5. Now, again, we spoke to Tyler's mom, who is by his side at Sacred Heart Hospital in Pensacola. We're being told he is in critical but stable condition and that an MRI will reveal more of his prognosis tomorrow.